All right, welcome to Computer Science 30S. This is Lesson 5, Composition of Functions, and this is the second part of the video. You'll remember that the first part was extremely long. Hopefully I can make less mistakes here and not take so much time. All right, so as I was saying earlier, find peak y is going to be tougher as you're going to have to use the Pythagorean theorem. So before, we had our start x position here. We had our side length of 100. Those were the numbers that we were working with here. I said I clicked 47. And I said that my side length was 100, and so I've got over here a value of 147. Okay, now I'm going to have to find this y position here. This y position is going to be much more challenging. My side length, you'll remember, as we set it up so I was at 100, just to have something to talk about. Okay, so if this length here is 100, this is 100, as is this. So this y position here would be nice if it was just 100 up, but it's not. This height here is going to be different. So the only way to find this height here is to use Pythagoras right here. You'll notice that I've got myself here a nice right triangle. I'm going to call this distance from here to here half side. This whole length here is 100. That would make half side off 50. And I can use this hypotenuse here of 100, this half side here 50. That's how I can figure out the height. Okay, so the half side is equal to the side length divided by 2. Side length squared, that's this hypotenuse over here, is equal to the half side squared plus the height squared. I take the half side squared to the other side, I get side length squared minus half side squared is equal to the height, which gives me that height is equal to the square root of side length squared minus half side squared. And the fine peak y is going to be my starting y position plus my height. So lots of steps here. Here is the code to that particular um, bit of logic. Find peak y. Again, start and length. This is start y, by the way. I'm going to create a script variable that I'm going to call half side and height. I'm going to set half side equal to the length divided by 2. That's this distance here. And then I'm going to set the height equal to the square root of length times length, which is squared, and minus half side times half side. And then I'm going to report the value of start plus height. Now let's go ahead and do that. That was probably a little bit confusing. Hopefully, as I go through it here, it'll make a little bit more sense to you. Okay, so we're going to make a block. It's going to be a reporter block, and it's going to be green. And it's going to be called find peak y. And we're going to have variables, again, called start. That's the y position start. And we're going to have length. Okay, I'm going to need some script variables here to work with. I'm going to need a script variable called half side. And I'm going to need a script variable called height. These are just simply variables that I'm going to use within this block. And then once the block is done, they can disappear. And I'm going to set the value of half side equal to Half side is going to be the length divided by 2. And the height, this value here that I'm trying to find here, this height here, and following this logic over here, is equal to, and here's where it gets quite a bit confusing, I need to find square root. going to have to look for the function square root here. It took me a second to find it. There it is there. So square root of, okay, remember on the notes here, height is equal to the square root of side length squared minus half side squared. So to get uh, side length squared, that's going to be length times length, side length squared. There's my multiply length squared I could probably set up a variable called side length squared but this seems just as easy so oh no I don't want to do that pull that out so it's length times length and then I've got to subtract length times length and then I've got to subtract half side times half side because it's half side squared so give me another multiply and 
I want half side times half side. Okay, and I want the square root of all of that. So all of that has to go inside my square root thing. And that is equal to my height. Okay, the height is equal to this value here, this distance from there to there is the square root of side length squared minus half side squared. And then my peak y is equal to my starting y position right here plus that new height. So I'm going to report down here. I'm going to report the value of the starting y position, and I'm going to add on the height, and that's what I'm going to report back as my peak y. And let's see if that will work here. So instead of most y there, let's use my new function that I just created, find peak y, and I'm going to send it most y. Whoops, can't do that. I'm going to send it most y. And I'm going to send it size. Okay, let's see if it works. Let's click right there. Size is 100, and it should go over to the right and up. Not bad. I'm not convinced it works perfectly, but we'll have to test that a little bit more. Okay, hopefully we haven't made any mistakes along the way here. The last block to create is the draw triangle block. Okay, notice that this is not a reporter block. It does not return some value. It is merely a command block. It must be blue, and it must be that puzzle piece. Um, in generic terms, we would call this a subroutine, and you're going to learn lots about subroutines as you take more and more computer science. Uh, so I'd like you to create a draw triangle block that looks just like this, and I'd also like you to think about why you need the last turn 120 degrees. Let's leave this last one off, and let's just see what happens there. So let's go back. those smaller so I can see, and I want a draw triangle block. Make a block. It's going to be a motion one. It's going to be a command. We're going to call it draw triangle. And I want in here, I want an X, and I want a Y, and I need a size length. Okay. I need to put my pen down so that I can draw. I'm going to move. How many steps am I going to move? Whatever my size is. And I'm going to turn. Because I'm making a triangle, I know it's going to be 120 degrees. And I'm going to do that three times. And as I said before, if you take off that bottom 120 degrees, something funny might happen. You might want to try that. For now, I'm going to leave it in there because I know I need it. And I'm going to lift my pen. There's my draw triangle. Okay, so I now have all my individual pieces, my blocks. Now I can put all the pieces together. So we're going to put them all together in the main script here. Uh, I did have to make a couple of changes were made uh, so that we can use the start X and start Y positions later. So um, I, this wasn't in the pseudocode. Sometimes you have to change your pseudocode. Uh, let's go ahead and complete this, and we should be very close to done. Okay, so I'm going to, you also are going to need to have a clear so that when we test, we don't draw over top. We're going to wait until the mouse is down. I'm going to set my start X and start Y to most X and my Y. Instead of having to use most X and most Y all the time, let's create two new variables, one called start X and one called start Y. These are going to be very handy. Okay. I'm going to set start X equal to mouse x. Let's get rid of this go to for now, the time being. Set my start x to mouse x. And I'm going to set my start y to mouse y. Like so. And I'm going to lift the pen. 
And the reason that I do that is so that when I go to my starting position, I don't make a line. Then I'm going to go to that position. I'm going to go to start X and start Y. Let's go ahead and substitute those. Get rid of that guy. I'm go to start X and start Y. And I'm going to ask for the size. I'm going to set my size to equal to my answer, and then I'm going to broadcast. Let's get rid of this guy here. And let's make a broadcast. Just means I'm ready to begin. Okay, so my main code is clear the drawing, wait until the mouse is down, find the X and Y starting positions, set start X and start Y equal to those, pick the pen up, go to that position, ask for how big of a triangle you want, set the size equal to the answer, and then broadcast begin drawing. Okay, then I'm going to have another script that I do once I begin my drawing. I'm going to hide Alonzo. Hide is a purple one. Okay, and I'm going to draw my triangle, which I've created my block called Draw Triangle, like so. Draw a triangle. I'm going to draw a triangle and I'm going to begin drawing at start X and start Y and my size goes in there as well. Okay, if I just do this, I should get just um, the lower left hand triangle. Let's see what happens. I'm going to ask for my size. There, I got my triangle. Great. That's my first triangle there. Okay, now let's go back to my code. Now I need to move. So that draws the lower left triangle. You notice my comment here. Then I have to move over to draw the next triangle. So I'm going to go to... And where am I going to go to? I'm going to go to start X plus size. In other words, I'm going to bump my X over by size length. So I need some variables in here. I need start X and I need size. I'm going to add them together. Okay, I'm going to move over to that position. In other words, I'm going to add size to my start X, and that's where I'm going to go to, and the Y value remains the same. And what am I going to do? I move to the lower right-hand start position, and then I draw the next triangle. Okay, so let's draw that triangle. Okay, and what are, where do I want to draw my triangle? I want to draw it at, I don't want to draw it at start X. I want to move it over. Actually, I've already moved it over. Maybe I don't actually need that move over. Let's just try this. I think I can, I think I can make this simpler here. Let's do this. My X position is going to be start X plus size. My Y position is going to be the same, and my size is my size, like so. That draws the lower right-hand triangle. Let's see if this works. There's my start. No, I only got one. I'm going to have to, let's go back and fix that back to the way I had it. With the go-to. Should work, I'm hoping. There we go, I got my two triangles. I'm not really sure why I need that go to, but I guess I must have needed it anyways. Okay, so now I've got the bottom two triangles. Now, what do I need to do is I need to uh, find my peak X and peak Y. I'm going to need new variables called peak X and peak Y. Let's create those. Call it peak X. You remember that the code we wrote before simply found them. It didn't actually allow me to store them anywhere. So I'm going to need something like set peak X. I'm going to need set peak Y. And peak X is going to be equal to, I'm going to use this function that I created before, 
find peak X. Remember that find peak X on the peak of two positions, uh, found uh, the starting X position and the size. Start X size. And here I'm going to use find peak Y. Be very careful. Make sure you get the right one. Make sure you use starting Y value and size. Like so let me make sure that I've got that. Okay, and then I'm going to go to those spots and then I'm going to draw my triangle and I should almost be done here. Go to peak X and peak Y. And then I'm going to draw another triangle. And that triangle is going to be drawn at peak X. Whoops. Peak X. Peak Y. And size. And that draws my third triangle. All right. Let's see if this works. Almost. So we're going to have to figure out exactly what our problem here is here. It seems like our peak Y has worked nicely, but our X hasn't quite worked. So we're going to have to do a little bit of debugging here and try and fix this. You maybe have an issue as well. I'm going to go see if I can find my error. And once I found it, then I'll turn my video back on and I'll show you where I found my error. All right. Well, I found the mistake. Um, I'm hoping that maybe some of you saw it when I first created. Here's the mistake. It took me quite a while to find. Very silly little mistake. When I had midpoint created, rather than having point 0.1 and point 0.2 in here, or sorry, in here I had point 0.2 plus point 0.2 divided by 2. So it wasn't finding the average at all. It was just adding them together and divided by 2. So it was returning the actual value of point 0.2. So now I think, now that I've got the proper midpoint, as you can see over here on the right, if I click somewhere. I give it a value. Let's try 100. I get my shape that I want. Let's try it with a different value and a different position. Let's try it with 60. There we go. We got a smaller version. All right. So we've got our program working so far. I'm hoping that you don't have any errors in yours. Let's see what the next step is in our notes. It's your assignment. That's the next step. So the assignment is to take the main script that I just created for you that draws the three triangles and move them into a new block called draw three triangles. So and adjust the main code so that it now looks like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to take all of this bit here and you're going to take that and turn it into a new block that's called draw three triangles that does this shape and then you're going to create in your main code you're going to create uh, your main code. Here's your new block draw three triangles your starting positions of start X, start Y and size, and then you're going to add this bit in here. Here's the first set of three triangles. Here's the second set of three triangles. Here's the third set of three triangles. Notice that I, you need to put in some new values in here. You will need to replace the two go-to statements with some type of calculation in here because it can't, you can't just tell it which code to go to look for. I'm going to be looking for some type of calculation in here. Uh, you need this to be able to draw anywhere on the screen. So I've given you quite a bit of hints. Uh, you just need to put the final pieces of the puzzle, so to speak, together. Uh, remember that this is the figure that you're trying to draw. You will need to figure out the order to draw the three three triangle fingers. Figures. I think we drew we drew one. So you have to figure out which order you want to put them in. This one, this one, and this one, or this one, this one, this one, or vice versa. Okay. Um, turn this final code in as less than five composition. Be sure to comment code and use appropriate name variables. Refer to the accompanying rubric for turning in the assignment. All right, good luck with that. Uh, I'll be around to help you as needed.